All right, hello everyone. We are back again, and I don't know what to say. Sometime it's good to be stupid. Sometime, you know, when you are stupid, you don't think much. Everything look fine, even if it is the end of the world. Ah, I mean, you don't, you don't get worried. You don't think about anything. You don't need to question things. Just be stupid. I mean, that's it. Now we have a Muslim. He is texting me and he is calling me coward. And not only that, he is saying that I am scared, which is really weird. Maybe he's right. Hmm. Let us see if this is true or not. We just give him the permission to call. I hope you will call me. A minute ago, he was flooding my Skype saying, coward, coward. Okay, look like he is not moving. Let us call him then. Uh oh, look like he's gone. See who's the coward now? Yeah, he log offline. What a potato. Anyway, the topic today is about Muhammad. He needed some modification. You see, there is some people they cannot be qualified for a certain job. So in order to get ready for this job, you go to school, you learn. Let us say you want to be an engineer, but you cannot work in engineer unless you have a degree in engineering. Uh, you cannot be uh, a doctor unless you have a degree in medicine. Now, to be a prophet, what is the requirement? Any Muslim can tell us what make a prophet a prophet? What make me qualified to be a prophet according to Islam? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? What makes somebody qualified to be a prophet? He eat banana, he shout too much, he is too much hairy. Is it about the look? Is it about the size of the chest? Is it about the size of the private part? What makes somebody qualified to be a prophet in Islam? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call? My Skype is open. We are not here to make fun of you. We are here to discuss together what make your prophet a prophet. Hello. Here we go. This is what make Muhammad a prophet. Aisha screaming. <laughs> and the funny, he called himself Muslim.com. Obviously, you are a very much Muslim.com. To the point you come, non-stop. Stupid people. Any Muslim would like to call us and tell us why and how and what make Muhammad qualified to be a prophet? Anyone? Hello? Who is a Muslim want to tell me what make Muhammad a prophet? Ultimate truth, and who is stopping him from calling me? Let him call me. You know, it's funny that the Muslim they say they want to call me, they want to call me, and I'm here. 
here we go we allow the Muslim to call us we find that he is uh, he turned to be a you know a porn star I like the name by the way the ultimate truth mm -hmm. well that will be perfect actually the name will fit perfectly with the topic of our, our topic today let him call me who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us what make a prophet a prophet anyone I said he's blocking him why is he the one who was screaming now that means he's a donkey and I block only donkeys why I will block him unless he is one of them let me see the name of ultimate I think maybe this is the guy who was screaming now ultimate truth Uh, is that the guy who I saw once uh, David Wood is speaking about him in his video this guy you know this guy he go to David Wood and David Wood I don't know what's wrong with those people there I mean and David Wood he put his text in the screen ultimate truth from the channel it's called ultimate truth YouTube and he's like David Wood is promoting him I mean <laughs> I mean is it obvious the guy is trying to make you say where to go and you do it and you put his his, his uh, whatever he wrote you put it in the screen Oh, I don't know what's wrong with people. This guy is a kid. Stupid. This guy, he, he sit in the couch. I saw his video. He sit, he lay down in the bed and he's spoken about Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Too much hashish. At least sit down like, like a man. You're speaking about your God and your ass is up and your legs is going down and you are sleeping in the bed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi And then the, the, the smart Christians, they promote him. Uh, this guy he said I mean as, as if he is like a big shot. This is exactly what they did with Muhammad hijab They promoted him. Otherwise nobody knows this guy I'm very serious this guy nobody know him nobody even listened to him Overnight they made him famous. This is how smart they are what I can say It's not their fault It's the fault of the funny one for me here, I cannot make you famous. I will make you look horrible. I will make you the joker. I will make you the monkey of everybody. Call me. Just call me. Try it. Try it once, never again. Any Abdul? No, no, we don't have a problem with the clash with the time broadcast. They can broadcast. I can broadcast. This is nothing to do with this. You know, if you want to go there, you can go there. What does have to do with this? What I do is different from what they do. Totally different. My way, the way I speak, the way I teach, the way I answer is totally different from the what, what they do. Correct? So don't worry about clashing. There's no clashing here. And actually, uh, I did many broadcasts today. So I mean, if I, if those guys they will not do broadcasts, it means they cannot do broadcasts because I'm always uh, almost online. So if they will wait until Christian Prince finish broadcasting, well, they will not have their chance to talk. Let them open and do a broadcast. What's what's the problem with that? You want to go there? Go there and listen to them. No, he cannot mock. Not he cannot mock when he's talking to me. You see, the one who tried to do mockery here, we whip the floor with his, you know. So they cannot do that. They can do that a different place, not here. Now, who is the Muslim want to call me and tell me what is the requirement to be qualified to be a prophet? As an example, this chimpanzee in the front of us, can he be a prophet? Is he qualified to be a prophet, this monkey? Any Muslim? I'm really, I'm really here. By the way, the Muslims believe that monkeys are Muslims too. To the point, even they do stone him to death. There's a hadith about uh, a very true story. By the way, this is a very true story. A Muslim he said 
that he saw a female monkey and she was because she committed adultery the Muslim monkeys were stoning her to death you have that in my book six and Allah if you want here the story is really small I have in details uh, During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, as opposed to now the Muslims are not ignorant. You know, the, the Arab before Islam, they are ignorant. We are not the ignorant one. To the point we have those stories. During the pre-Islamic uh, period of ignorance, I saw, are you sure you saw that? Yes, I sure, I swear by Allah. I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. But all of them are Muslims, we have to be careful. They were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse i too brother i did join them and i stoned along with them and now obviously this is a story qualified to be mentioned in the islamic books because islamic books is book of intelligence not the book of ignorance i mean if you want a, a story to be mentioned in, in in allah book you have to come with a serious story like this which everybody should believe. I mean, it's obvious. You know? Any Abdul? Anyone? Who is a Muslim when I call me? Don't text me, please, if you are a Christian. I am not interested in your text. I am here for the Muslims to call me to debate me. Any Muslim would like to call us? The God of Muhammad, he did the plastic surgery for Muhammad. I want any Muslim to inform us and to tell us what was that for. Abdul and Abdul would like to call us nobody Let us see. He claimed to be a Muslim. Let us see. Hello? FBI, open up! Garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? I mean, why all of you acting like monkeys? Can't you be a human being and talk to us like a human being? We have a chimpanzee in front of us and we know how chimpanzee they are. You want to be a chimpanzee? This is your business. I mean, but why you? We have chimpanzee in the screen. You want to be chimpanzee as background and the music? Well, nice to meet you. Can't you talk like a human being and you call us and you say something useful? Are you or do you think you really are defending Islam by doing those things? People are laughing at you. How savage. 
That's gorilla, I know. That's gorilla. Actually, once I was debating a, an atheist, and I lost the debate. I, I made a mistake. I should not uh, I learn from my mistake. Actually, it was a big crowd. He asked me, "Christian Prince, do you like banana?" I said, "Yes." He said, "See," and this is how we won the debate. Because, like, we found something we share, you know, a gorilla, a chimpanzee, a Christian prince, they like banana, and that means we are all a human. I mean, we are from one ancestor. Otherwise, why all of us like banana? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yeah, this is a true story. <laughs> yeah, I find one of the most funny things they, they do, an atheist. You see, an atheist, he want to prove to you that there is no God. How you can prove something does not exist to be not exist? I mean, the idea itself is silly. You know what I mean? When he said to you, let me prove to you that there is no God, you just, you just, you are just must, must be stupid. To prove to me something does not exist. To be not exist. I mean, that's that is hilarious. But what you can do? Stupidity versus intelligence. Do we have any Abdul want to call us? Who is a smart Abdul here? Okay, Abdul, I will make you feel better. Forget about the gorilla. Who is a lion of Islam want to call us? Do you feel better now? Huh? Who is a lion of Allah? He want to call us. Look how beautiful this lion, actually. I have to be honest here. This lion is really beautiful. Man, I can imagine that this lion, all the female lions will be fighting over him. He's like a this guy, I think I think he's a movie star in his in his country. You know what I mean, yeah, Shamsi, <laughs> some see, some she. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Hmm? By the way, Allah, He have a dog. In case you do not know, do you know that? When Muhammad he was reciting the chapter of An Najm, which means the star, his cousin he said to him, "I don't believe in the Lord of the Najm." So his cousin Muhammad said to him, aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dog to eat you? Hey, Karan, how are you? Welcome from India. Any Muslim here? Who was a Muslim want to give us a call? Mayday, mayday. A Muslim is needed. The, the, the weather is dry and we have no Muslims. Look, we put a picture of a lion and we said Muslims are lions, still they are not calling us. Let us change the picture, maybe something else. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to do. Let me see something else. Something will encourage them to, to step up. Okay. Okay, that will work because you know the the most the most well known reporter of of stories of Muhammad. His name is Abu Huraira. Anyone knows what Abu Huraira mean? Abu Huraira mean the father of the cats. Any Abu Huraira here? I'm serious, Abu Huraira, Huraira is a cat. So they call him Abu Huraira because he have caught cats all over him. Wherever you go to see him, they have cats all over. So they call him Abu Huraira. So who is Abu Huraira here? And this is why you see a lot of stories saying Muslims, they believe that cats are clean and dogs are dirty. So Muslims, they have no problem to grow cats in their houses, but there is no way to grow a dog. Otherwise, you are the enemy of Allah. A normal cat, house cat. House cat. Thank you, my friend from India. Thank you. 
Do we have any Hurairah here? Any Abu Huraira? Yeah, Muhammad, he said that if, if a dog, he ate from your dish or he lick it, you have to, to clean it seven times. And after you clean it seven times with water, you have to clean it with dust, which will make it dirty again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, Al Kursi mean the chair, right? The chair. Everything, everything have a reason in Islam. I mean, in the Quran, the names of the Quran present something in the in that chapter speaking about the chair. That's why it's called the chair. Uh, as an example, anyone knows of you how uh, Suleiman he died? Anyone knows how Suleiman died? According to Muhammad and his God wisdom. According to Muslims, when he die, if you go to chapter 38, verse number 34, that Allah, he made him die standing next to his chair, holding a stick. If you go in the Quran, if we go to chapter 50 for faster, And then we go to verse number 12. Oh, sorry, not 50, 38, 38. See, I'm getting old, man. What's happening here? Unbelievable. And then we will go... I think here, 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 here. Hmm. Where, where, where? I forgot the number of the verse. I mean, I think here. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. We need Zakanaik. Zakanaik, I remember it right away. But the third. In chapter 38, verse number 34. The, 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 oh, okay. So certainly here the, the you know there's Allah he made a fitna, fitna, which means a temptation. What is a temptation? Trial. He made Suleiman die over his throne. And if you go in the details and the interpretation, you will see that he died standing up actually. And the reason he did not fail down after he died because he was holding his staff. And by the way, this has happened always in the Middle East. Like we hold our staff and we die. And we don't fail down. So the ministers, the wives, everybody go in, go out. Nobody noticed that he is dead. Because simply, he was holding the staff. And how they discovered that he is dead? Anyone remember? Who remember how they discovered that he is dead? Who of you remember... How they discover that he is dead? Anyone? The termites. Yeah, the termites, they ate his stick. This is why always I spray my stick, by the way, because I don't want to die. And then the Muslim, they will know that Christian Prince is dead. I want to die standing holding my stick and I open the camera and people go in my chat room, go out in the chat room, and they will not know that I am dead. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, CP. Wa alaikum as -salam. Uh, Two things I wanted to ask you about. You're sure. talking about uh, Suleiman right now, right? Right. So can you talk about the difference in between the way he's portrayed in the Quran versus the Bible? Because I know he's, they say in the Quran that he had a flying carpet, and I've never read that in the Bible before. So can you talk about that? And also, I wanted to ask you about uh, dual car name. You know dual car name? Mm. Uh, they said that uh, in chapter 1886, I think, where I think it said dual car name found the sun setting in a muddy pool. Mm. Can you talk about that? Yeah. Well, we will see. Let us go if we go there because uh, uh, did you see the title of my video? I'm yes. trying to make a Muslim to answer that topic, but we will answer about what you said. 
Uh, and uh, Zul Qarnayn, I think we spoke about it today, don't we? Didn't we? If you go on the previous video, I oh, think the right. one before that. Oh, really? You did? Yeah, but anyway, always we will talk about it. Don't worry, it's going to come anyway. You know, don't worry. Sure. Yeah, but let us see if we we'll get a Muslim. I like I like to uh, to, uh, to go in a certain places when Muslims did. So invite Muslims here, so you can get rewarded with answering your question. Would you want that? <laughs> You know, <laughs> this is your okay. candy. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. All right, All my right. friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, everything Muhammad he have, he have it from the Jews when it's come to Suleiman. And this, but the Jews they have legions, they have f fiction stories about Suleiman. So the flying carpet, Suleiman he spoke to the birds, uh, the ants. All those stories is legions of the Jews. And Muhammad he took them from the Jews, put them in the Quran because he's a fool. Uh, you see, there is where is the Quran where the Quran says Muhammad he met Allah. According to Muslims, Muhammad never met Allah. Okay, but if you go in the Quran, but as you remember always, I don't try to force my interpretation on the religion. I debate him about what they believe. You know. Uh, but if you go in the Quran, you will see there is verses speaking about. Uh, that there is the Muslim they say this is in jail sorry so this was Jibril and Jibril he came down like he is in a rope you know if you go to the chapter of a Najm verse number 33 it says that he was inspired and etc and then he came down and draw near him and he was a close almost uh, a length of uh, uh, two bows or nerier and then he revealed to his servant what he's revealed. You see the word servant here? In Arabic, actually, it says Abdu, which means he's a slave. Uh, his heart lies, etc. And then uh, the Muslim, they try to explain this. They say this is Jibreel. But how does Jibreel, if he inspire his slave? And as you see, the one who came down is the one who is speaking, supposedly. So this verse give us... Uh, uh, indication that the one who came is Allah but as long as the Muslim don't consider that is true they say this is what Jibreel then we have to go with what they say all right now about what our brother he said about Suleiman and uh, Suleiman between the Jews and the uh, and Islam actually there's not much different except Muhammad is taken from the Jews still he's taken from the Jews their fictions not from the holy book and this is why Muhammad's stories look funny and look stupid he looked from the madness stories of the Jews same as he adopted many stories like uh, the punishment of the grave he learned from the Jews uh, coloring the hair uh, the, uh, the piss you know uh, Many things. Muhammad, he was trying to be a copy of a Jew. He he worked hard actually to convince the Jew that he became one of them, but he he, he was not able to uh, to accomplish that mission. This is why he was trying by adopting their stories to convince them that he is of them. He is not against them, even if the Jews have foolish stories. No. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Because it's still our topic here today is about the modification surgery Allah he did to Muhammad. Why he did that surgery? Any Muslim would like to call us? Muhammad is the same as a politician, you know, uh, uh, Trump, uh, Obama, all of them, I and mean, all all politician, politician, they are a bunch of liars. They say things they don't believe in. Just to make you vote for them or to make you, uh, you know, make them a president, give them the job. So Obama, when he was in election time, with the Muslim, he's a Muslim. With the Christian, he's a Christian. With the atheist, he make fun of the Bible. With the gays, he's a gay. With the Jews, he's a Jew. I mean, you name it. He went to Israel, he wore the hat of the Jews. He went to Egypt, he started reading the Quran. He uh, go to the church, he start holding the Bible and singing with the Christians. He go with the atheist, he make fun of the Bible. You know? And this is exactly what Muhammad is. Muhammad is trying to find a place for him between 
the Jews because he believed if the Jews believe in me this is why in the hadith he says if ten of the Jews believe in me the whole Jews believe in me only if ten so Muhammad here he uh, confess that not even ten Jews were uh, convinced to believe in him and that means Muhammad he have a huge failure when it's come to the Jews you know we can find the hadith actually we can look for it this hadith the Prophet said had any and by the way here you will see among their chief this is not a true the hadith there is no such a thing this is a fabrication so the Muhammad he said had any only ten Jews believe me all the Jews could definitely have believed me so Muhammad failed even to convince ten Jewish people to believe in him and here you notice why Muhammad is not saying if ten Christians you know what I mean why Muhammad is so much interested to be of the Jews not of the Christians there is a very important reason for that the Jews are rich and if he can get the money of the Jews involved in his prophethood he can establish an empire so having 10 Jews like imagine if I can convince George George Soros to sponsor me here we go this is one and then the owner of uh, uh, Facebook this is the second one I mean you know that the Jews are rich people no, this is not something new so if we can convince 10 rich Jews to believe in me the rest will be easy so Muhammad he was not able to convince or convince or to convert or to make 10 Jews agree with him this is how bad his situation is Gog and Magog well Gog and Magog is mentioned in the Bible by the way the word Gog and Magog but it's not about people who have a very funny look etc Muhammad is always you know as, as I said he copy stories from the Jewish fictions all the stories Muhammad he have is coming from somewhere Gog and Magog for Muhammad are people who they have they are they look weird their right ear is big like a tent and they sleep inside it and the people of the Gog and Magog they are very powerful in sex to the point that each one of them he will not die until he have at least 1,000 child and that's mean if the if the people Gog and Magog are exist by now we should have if we are seven million uh, seven billions and you know that's mean at least they have to be a thousand times more than us you know so where we can find them those Gog and Magog people who have a very funny look they are not a human they don't look like a human Gog is Putin hmm. I believe that Putin is a good man compared to the rest, my friend. Actually, I'm very glad that we have Mr. Putin. And we don't have Putin is just a copy of the Western leaders. He is the only one right now fighting terrorists when the Western leaders are sponsoring them and feeding them. I don't want to change the topic, but many people, they have a wrong idea about Russia and about Putin. If not Putin, my friend, all the Christians in Syria will be slaughtered by now by the help of America and by the help of France and England but you know people they listen to TV too much and they listen to American preachers who they say stupid things sometimes the Russian our enemy the Russian are Christians my friend they are not enemies Right now, actually, Trump, he would draw his army from Syria, right? He would withdraw. But are you done? Al-Qaeda is the biggest force still there. 
So what, are we there to fight only ISIS? They forget about Al-Qaeda? Not a single bullet they shot at Al-Qaeda. And here you ask yourself, since when Al-Qaeda is our friend? And Trump, he said we made victory. There's a big territory occupied by Al-Qaeda. All the state, it's called Idlib, is controlled by Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, literally. So how you say we are done? And why the American troops don't attack Al-Qaeda? Since when we are friends? I mean, uh, but American, welcome to America, my friend. Just say to the American, the Russian are communist, everybody will agree. Until now, they think Russian or they are communist. In Russia, there is more billionaires than what you can count in your country. American, welcome to America. They don't even know what the Fourth of July is about. Sadly, and actually, I believe Trump he was trying to get close to Putin, but the American, the the, the machine, you know, the machine, the money business machine, they don't want him to get close. Because, you know, many people think about things in a very limited way. There's many businessmen in USA, big corporations, they are afraid of Russia to be a competition. Until now, in USA, you cannot even go to the space without using the Russian equipment, the Russian en engines for the space. So they are a lot advanced from us in many things, especially in the space and, you know, war equipments. So they want to have... It's a must to have sanctions on Russia so we can still sell. If the Russian have no sanctions, everybody buy from the Russian, nobody will buy from the American. As simple as that. Their machines is more powerful and they are more cheap. And it's easy to have a deal with them. Here, if you make a deal with the, with the, with the Trump, the Congress have to vote, the senators have to vote, many, everybody have to involve in the, in the voting and it's, it's a long process. But if you have a deal with Putin, that's it. He signed, you know, it's a dictator style presidency. One guy control everything. One signature is done. Anyway, but as usual, American, they go by what they see in Fox News or CNN. Christian conservative, they think Fox News speak for them. Atheists and liberals, they think CNN speak for them. But I believe that the both stations are owned by the same person. And both of them, they present the same propaganda. And the propaganda is very simple. Bad cop, good cop. But at the end of the day, both of them, they are bad. When, put, when, when, when Obama was in office, Fox News every day, every day asking Obama, when you are going to stand up for the Russian when you are going to be a man and stand for the Russian, he, Obama is gone. Suddenly, Fox News now, they are not asking Trump to stand for the Russian. Suddenly they forgot, you know, it's not like, it's not even important. And even they are denying that uh, there's any relationship between Trump and the Russian. Suddenly it's the opposite. So it, it's a hypocrisy machine. You know, don't believe any of them. I feel sorry for the American. The American are far away from anything. The American, they... They they have a fantasy, you know. They call it the news. You know, if tomorrow Christian Prince driving his car and he killed an American dog, do you know what they will say? They will say an Arab guy killed an American dog. As simple as that. He's a dog. They will make him American. They will make him Arab. By changing the title, they change the format of the news and they change everything behind the news. So people they judge by the title. The same as the, the Muslims they do with Israel, and the same as the Israel do with the Muslims. When a suicide bomber, he suicide himself in an Israeli bus, the, the Muslim news, they will say, a murder, a hero, he killed Jews. The Jews, they say, a terrorist. It's the same guy. So simply, everybody have his own title for his own propaganda. And you have to be smart to recognize which one is the true news. Don't go by the title which they will give it to you. You know what I mean? They always try to convince you with their own title to deceive you, regardless if they are telling a, a true news or not. You know what I mean? Anyway, I don't like uh, uh, politics, but I just I'm giving you my opinion. 
so we go back to Muhammad chest and I want to know what what happened to Muhammad chest do we have any Muslim would like to call us anyone not a a Muslim Who is a who is the good guy of you when you bring me some Muslims and I will I will buy him five hamburgers? Okay, and he, by the way uh, is going to be delivered to you by CNN. Fake news. Christian Congress. Fight uh, fight ignorance, you know, my friend, and you will have the Congress you are talking about. Ignorance is our problem. Christians until now they are fighting between Catholic and Protestant. This is because of their ignorance. You know, the devil, the devil is dividing you, my friend. If you cannot unite your house, you cannot fight the enemy. A divided, a divided house is a conquered kingdom. Do we have any Abdul? We need the Messiah, my friend. You do not need me. The Messiah can unite us. Always, always be. You see, when you when you uh, when you read the Bible, when you when you think about your Lord, don't think about it as you are a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. For those names are not exist to the Messiah. Those are fabrication of man. And ninety nine percent of the differences between them is about politics. Politics is evil. Is the devil. Keep away men who they are seeking power, seeking money from your church, and then you will see that we will be united. It doesn't matter what the church name is. In order to make you come to my church, I have to say to you that the other church, they will take you to hell. I, my church is the good one. It's a business. The same as Muhammad, you know. Muhammad, he promised those who donate for him, heaven, bring us your money. This is the whole story. Bring me your money. And then I will pray in your behalf. I will pray for you. I will sanctify you, purify you. I will do everything to make you go to heaven. Just bring me the money. So there is many, you see, ask yourself, did Jesus get payment? Did Jesus ask them for money? Did Jesus make money? Did Jesus own palaces? Did Jesus own... Uh, he didn't even own a donkey. All right? So when you follow somebody, follow somebody is a Christ-like, not somebody is a businessman. Yeah, because this is politics, my friend. Politics, they separate the church, trying to do to make to make more division. More division is for the benefit of the devil. Do we have any Muslim? Ahmad bin Abdullah, you call me? Is that the one you is is that you the one who was shouting? When you call me, my friend. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Any Muslim? Well, why we are short of Muslims? Oh, I, uh, Ahmad, yeah, yeah, you are the ex-Muslim. Oh, I forgot, forgive me. Because, you know, I mean, it's hard to remember. Everybody call me. Yeah, you are the ex-Muslim. I, I remember you, my friend. But do you see, because we are desperately looking for a Muslim, it's like we came rear. You see, if you are a person who do not know much about Islam, they will be calling like like crazy. Get them get them a blonde woman with short skirts sitting in the camera. She want to speak about Islam. You will see how the Muslims will be from everywhere when I talk to her. 
everywhere hungry add me add me sister add me sister huh no if you want to know how much hungry they are if you make a false profile like you know in pal talk as an example if you make a false profile they, actually there's there's a guy he used to bring me Muslims and I thought he's a girl you know because he have a female girl he have a picture of a girl and I said to him thank you for bringing all those Muslims here because all of them they are following him but I thought it's her so I started to her thank you her she said I am a guy so, so why you have a picture of a female he said I'm going how I'm going to bring you the Muslims here look at my profile I click at the profile short skirt bikini the second he, he go inside the room he don't ask any Muslim to add him they look at look at his profile because he's a female they see those pictures they go crazy they add him right away he add them he invited him to the room bingo I told them don't do that in my room again a blonde female with short skirt and she accept to add them are you kidding me they will follow her to hell Progressive value. I think Islam is dead everywhere. Islam is not exist not in USA not in the Middle East and not in Saudi Arabia Where is Islam my friend you go you, you see Saudi women going in the airplane The airplane it did not even leave Saudi Arabia Prepare yourself if you are leaving from Saudi Arabia in the airplane What will happen the first 40 minutes the bathrooms will be busy anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? The first 40 minutes the bathroom is so busy who knows Muslim females they will go to the bathroom change their clothes change their makeup from the burqa to naked so she go inside the bathroom with the burqa she came out going to night club I remember once and this is long time ago before most of you you know as you know I'm born long time ago long I, I don't even remember when I was born so anyway uh, uh, we were I was doing my uh, you know my school my law degree so it was me and the guy sitting in the front it's a taxi so we go from city to city so there's a three girls in the back seat and they are wearing hijab they are wearing you cannot see them I mean you cannot see anything of them and then we arrived to the second city and we want to continue to the third city so like we have a stop so because they he dropped those three girls the driver he said we continue if you pay for the three uh, seats if not we have to wait until we fill up another three so he said okay we wait we cannot pay for for three people so we were waiting and then the three girls they came back again and they said to the guy Abu Muhammad uh, we forgot something in your back the guy he looked at them and we are sitting in the in the office in the in the taxi office They have like an office for for traveling He said no, you did not come with me you are wrong. They said no we come with you and we look at them No, those those girls are not the one who came with us He said no, you did not come with me the girls who came to with me. They are wearing hijab wearing burqa They said yes, this is us He said what he said yes, this is us their breast is coming their skirt is not even two inch. The makeup is all over. I mean, almost you can see the nipples saying hello, hello. So you and they start telling him yes. But, and as example, you said this during the the, the 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 driving. You told those guys in the front of you. Those guys they were with you and they point their hands at us. And you told them this about your son and about school, about etc. And about etc. So he was telling us stories when he was driving. So he said yes, it must be you. Then, but what happened? You look different. So now they are out of their town and their family they don't see them so in their home they are the virgin mary in the other city they are hookers this is the islamic society and then abu muhammad he said i swear by allah i will not let my daughter go to school is that what you do <laughs> Oh boy he started thinking about his daughter now his daughter she go to school in different city too so she must be doing the same you know 
I have a caller. Are you a Muslim, my friend? The one is trying to call me. <laughs> answer. Why you did not answer? He don't have intention to call me. So what? What do you want? No, he have. You know, he. It says missed call. Hello. 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 Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes, I'm Muslim. That's wonderful. You know, what do you think about the title of our video? Did you see the title? The title? Yeah, of the video of our broadcast today. Why Muhammad yes. needed plastic surgery to be done by Allah. What do you think about this? What plastic surgery? Okay. You do not hear about the story when Muhammad, Allah, he sent two angels, they cut his chest. And they took his heart off and his belly and his stomach and his liver and they washed him with the water of Zamzam. You did not hear is the story? Plastic surgery? It's is a plastic surgery. Yeah, because they uh, what is a plastic surgery? Explain to me. Plastic you, surgery you, is on the face. You do what? No, plastic surgery, you do the, the boobs. You know, they, you never heard that women they do plastic surgery for their breast? Yes, for beauty. For beauty, okay. What well, Muhammad did it for okay. what? It's for something else. What else? Like what? G give us an example. What? What is the purpose? You, you said he cut his chest open. Yeah, they cut his chest up for what reason? Put something in inside. They put something inside. What they put inside? As you say, it's uh, wisdom. They put wisdom. So, uh, so this is plastic surgery. It's a modification for for wisdom, right? They have modification for the wisdom. So his wisdom was bad to the point Muhammad needed a surgery in order to install some wisdom in his chest to make him better. Correct? Yes. Okay. So, do you believe as a Muslim that wisdom they can it can be installed by surgery? Maybe. By the way, I have a surgery before. That's why I'm very wise. But as you see here, it says that they install a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith. And not only that, it says here that the, after they cut his chest from the top of his throat all the way down to his testicles, the angels, they brought a golden tray contain a gold bowl full of belief and wisdom. So do you believe that wisdom and belief, they come in dishes? You're talking about angel, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, the angels, they brought yeah. a dish of wisdom. Can you, so, can you see angel? No, but we can see the golden belief, the golden dish. The golden dish is a golden dish, right? Can so, you see the dish? Well, yeah, Muhammad, he saw the dish because this is how Muhammad described yeah, he, yeah, Muhammad is a prophet. Oh, okay. So Muhammad, he can see it. We can, it's, it's invisible dish for us. It's, but it's yes. visible for Muhammad. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Yes. Since when dish, since when, since when? Uh, wisdom and faith and belief they can install and they come in dishes what the point of saying how many kilograms you think inside that dish of wisdom or faith can you see belief no this is why I'm saying to you how you can bring belief. can you see wisdom so can how you see angel thank you very much so you how, can see everything so how you can put them in a dish this this, this is the work of angels no, no, but, but you can see here, angel. You see, the, you can the, see angel. You my, can my, see dish. You no, can my, see my friend, wisdom. You friend, can see no, nothing. No, no, I can see. I can see angels. They prove that many people they saw angels. This is not a not really. Not yeah, it's really only Muhammad. He nobody saw his angel because he's a liar. So you must, you must be same class okay, as. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I, I want, I want to go with you. So regardless if we can see it or not, it says that this is a dish of wisdom and dish of faith. Why Muhammad needed a surgery? Yes. To install a dish of wisdom and faith in his chest. What's wrong with him? 
because he's a prophet. He needs that. So uh, he needs uh, the uh, angels uh, to put all the wisdom inside him. He needs, uh, you know. Hmm. So in Islam, in order to be a prophet, we have to do modification for you by making a surgery, installing some wisdom and faith, so to you can be a prophet, right? Yes, that is Islam. Okay. Can you show me any other prophet? This surgery happened to him. Like this, the surgery happened to Isa. Isa. Hmm. Isa is low than. Muhammad. Muhammad is the highest. Oh, only this is this is a surgery only for the highest, right? Yes, yes. So not all prophets they have the surgery. Only if you are very important, the surgery will be done for you because it costs a lot of money. Yes, obviously. right. Yeah, if you if you do the to other prophets, then they will be same rank. This is uh, Muhammad ah, is the highest rank. Okay, I see. I mean, you got a point here actually. Actually, this is very wise of you. I don't know if your if your God he installed some wisdom in your chest too, but don't you notice here? That this is mean that Muhammad was a full man to the point we needed to do a surgery for him to fix his foolishness. No. So why we need to have a wisdom surgery if he was wise? No, he's not wise. He's not wise. Thank you very much. So Allah, He needed to make a surgery for him to fix his problem, which is foolishness. So He sent yeah. two angels, and they cut his chest. They made a plastic surgery, and then they brought a dish full of faith and wisdom, and they inserted even. Did, did you notice with me that they even they insert the faith and the wisdom they stuffed his chest and his throat blood vessel with it is that true is wisdom something you can insert inside the blood vessel yes so your Muslims your wisdom is in the blood anywhere what do you mean anyway I am asking you you know do you believe them so now so now if we, we if we go to the laboratory and we check our blood we will find that let us say we have like five percent uh, faith and seven percent wisdom in the blood is there something like this it's a blood in how you, you know, can this, have hmm. you know this operation yeah you know this operation okay it, yeah. it's just like giving the rank giving the rank to muhammad yeah but this is giving a, the rank is that is this operation so is, that that rank, is, real, is, is this a real operation or fake operation that is is it is done by the angel okay the angels so the angels now in islam their job is to do operation for the full one like muhammad so they can be wise correct no that is only one time done by jibril no actually it done twice i can show you the hadith it says twice once when he was a child and once when he was old okay okay twice okay so, so what prophet, so okay so first, the, so they first made, he's okay, a corporal then he now is a sergeant all right my friend so first time they made a surgery to muhammad to fix his problem looked like the surgery was not successful and his boobs are not getting big and then they made a second surgery to fix the first surgery so why your god who you muslim you say if you want something to happen he say b is going to be why he don't say muhammad be smart what is the point of surgery there are times where you need to say b there are times when you need to go through the process. Ah, okay. So this no, is the process. Okay. Just the ship. Now uh, let me ask you. After they did the surgery for Muhammad, Muhammad became wise or became stupid? Should be wise. Okay. So, uh, what is your education, my friend? Do you have education? Uh, master degree. In, uh, you have a master degree. Islamic study. You master have a, degree. You have a master Islamic degree study. in Islamic study. That's wonderful, man. Man, that's amazing. Okay, then, as long as you have a master degree in Islamic uh, study, you're a prophet, a woman, she came to him, and because of, of his wisdom, a woman, she have a man who is looking at her in a dirty way. So your prophet, he said to her, give him your boobs, let him suck it, suck it. Do you think this is wise to ask a woman to give her nipples to a strange man to suck her? And this is after the surgery? That's the reason for it. The reason, as you see in the front of you, the hate in the front of you, the guy, the husband is jealous because the guy is looking at her in a dirty way. And he is a man who is coming inside the house and he is jealous. So the prophet, because now after the surgery, he became wise, as you said, he advised her to give her nipples to the guy and that will solve the problem. What do you think about this wisdom? Yeah, it's logical. It's logical. So if I want to visit yeah, you, you, if I want to visit you, you my friend, hold on, hold on. If I want to visit you, bring your milk from a, a, a woman, then she's 
just like your no, mother. No, she don't have a milk. She is an she's an older woman. Women they are not goats. Women they have milk only if they have a baby. They did not suckle her uh, milk. What milk? She have no milk, and she is a man. She is an old woman, and he's a man. So she he ordered her to suckle him, which means to suck her nipples only, and he, she have to do it ten times. If I want to go to visit you with my respect to your wife, I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. And you want to practice the wisdom of your prophet with me. Are you going to allow your wife to give her nipples to me? I'll let, I'll let you see my wife. Yeah, but I mean, if uh, 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 if your prophet, he says that, I mean, why you would not do so? Are you like, are you saying this is stupid? No, I'm jealous. So your prophet, when he said that that woman, supposedly he was fighting the jealousy of the man, of the husband, but you said you will get jealous more. So your prophet was a fool when he said that, according to you. No. You just said you are jealous. You will not let your wife do that to me. But the is guy this? there. Yeah, but here the husband is, is the husband is jealous from the wife because there's a man he's entering upon her house and he don't like that. So Muhammad, he wanted to stop the jealousy of the husband by doing by doing the second and you are saying to me you will not allow that because you are jealous, which means it's not working. Not stop the jealousy. It's not stopping the jealousy. So stop what then? What, 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 what is the point? Preventing your wife from seeing the man. Preventing my wife from seeing a man by giving her boobs and she he suck her nipples. He is not. Yeah. She is not seeing him no more now. He is in her lap. In order no. for a woman, in order I, for in order for a man to suckle the, the nipples of a woman, he have to put his head in her chest, my friend. He is not now seeing her only. He is hugging her, he is touching her, he is sucking her. What are you talking about? No, you don't understand. No, explain to me. Okay, what the point of a of a woman? I go to her house and her husband he said, If you want to see my wife again, I force you to suckle her ten times. What is the wisdom? And no, you teach, teach no, me. You, he would say that. What is this? What your prophet because said? The prophet preventing the man to let his wife see you, the man. No. What do you mean prevented her? He allowed in her by doing that to see him alone and more and more. And now he is forcing the man and the women to suckle from each other. So now we have a very hot relationship. You see, you fail to explain to me the wisdom of your prophet. Obviously, he's not wise. He's been a foolish man. What do you think? No, he is saying that so that the man won't let his wife. Okay. His wife. If this is wise, why you don't allow so, your wife to do that? Why you don't yourself, you don't allow your wife to do what your prophet, he uh, said this is the best. Why you don't do that? Because I don't want my wife to see the man. Because I, I won't let her suck with the man. Well, but he, she will not suck him. He will suck her, my friend. This is nice. Don't you think this no. is nice? Because now you, you, you will be but like, husband, you, will, you will be, yeah. you, you know, you will be here. Like, don't you see that Muhammad here is being very open minded? He teach you to share the boobs of your wife with a stranger men, which is very nice. Otherwise, explain to me what, what he did here. Why, why he's asking the man to, the women to give her boobs to a stranger. I mean, many of us, we are hungry or thirsty and we want to suck sometime like uh, anything. So, like sometime I suck uh, like, you know, a Pepsi Cola. But for sure, nipples of a woman, especially if she's pretty, I, I think this is better. So your prophet here is wise, I think. What do you think? He's wise or he's being a fool? That is indirectly telling the wife not to see the man. Where would that see the man? He's saying to her, suckle him. Where, not to see the man by giving her boobs. So are you saying to me, after he suck her boobs ten time, he will not be allowed to see her. No. So what the point? Explain no. to me why he said to her, suckle him. The woman she said to him, as you see in the screen, he she said, "How oh, I'm going to suckle him and he's a growing man." Even the woman she was surprised. How oh, I'm going to suckle him and he is a growing man. He's a he's a man. He's have a mustache and a beard. You know. So exactly, 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 right. exactly. So why he said that? Why? Explain to me exactly. She was surprised that Muhammad is saying such a thing, and exactly this is crazy. So explain to me what the point. The husband is definitely not going to let his wife uh, let the man suckle. So you are saying to mm -hmm. me the husband will disobey the order of the prophet because the prophet he said something stupid. Are you saying that, my friend? Are you insulting the prophet now? 
No, the prophet said, if you want to let the man see your wife, you have to let the my friend. Suck did your prophet say it? Did your prophet say it? Let him suck your nipples, yes or no? Yes, okay. What is the reason to make a Muslim woman give her nipples and her breast to a strange man? I'm listening. Go ahead. Did he let his wife do it? Yes. He, uh, he ordered her to do and not only that actually even Aisha after that she ordered her nif her nieces to do that because that's why because mm. Aisha doesn't want mm -hmm. the men suckle her so that so why why that. what the point you know why Aisha in, in the time of Aisha after that Aisha if anyone want to see Aisha he have to go to the secretary room which is contain her sister and her nieces and he sit in their lap and he started mm, suckering their boobs, which is very nice. And they, this is why Aisha office was very busy. Everybody wants to see Aisha. So what kind of religion this religion is? This is why is my friend. Well, perfect did it. Mm -hmm. What is the this is Muhammad after the surgery? If Muhammad is doing this after the surgery, how stupid Muhammad was before the surgery? What do you think? Are you calling a friend or something? You want to call a friend? You have a master's degree in Islamic studies, are you sure? Okay, my, my friend. As long you have a as, as long you have a master degree in Islamic st study, and you said your prophet he became wiser. Now your prophet he said in different hadith. Forget about this story here. That if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be resemble the father. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the mother. Do you agree with the wisdom of your prophet? Do you agree with the wisdom? Of, your prophet said that the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parent is that s stupid or wise that is your uh, criteria for stupid and white i'm asking you is what do you think this is very wise or this is very stupid do you really believe that if you come first the baby will look like you and will be a boy if your wife come first, what, what do, you, do you have a children, my friend? Do I have to agree to him? Do you have a children, my friend, or no? No, you don't have a children. Look like neither you or your wife is coming. So, uh, uh, based on your prophet, if you come first, the baby will be a boy. If she come first, the baby will be a girl. What do you think about this wisdom, my friend? Is that wisdom? What is the wisdom here? I think this is stupid. Don't you, don't you think this is stupid? You may think it's stupid. Well, are you explain to me since when if I if you if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And this is after the surgery of Muhammad. If Muhammad after the surgery doing this papu before the surgery was doing what? What do you think? You have a master degree in Islamic study, you told me, right? Hmm. Interesting. From what school you got your Islamic study? You hang up. Islamic study. You are right. I will shave my 20 foot mustache if you know what are you talking about. You have a master degree in Islamic studies. Hmm. He hang up. He decide to flee. This is Muhammad after the surgery. If Muhammad after the surgery doing this before the surgery was doing what? Here we go. We made a surgery. We installed a dish of wisdom. So now his wisdom is like 1,000 times more and a dish of faith. I mean, even faith is coming dishes. By the way, I did not go to school. I just ordered a fish of uh, knowledge 
I mean, did I say a fish of knowledge? Yeah, it was actually a fish because the, the stuff, the fish from the dish with wisdom and mathematics and etc. And this is how I got my degrees. I ate the fish, the, the, the knowledge is inside. And that's it, you became knowledgeable. Those things happen only in the Middle East, for Arab specifically. And as you know, we are Arab. We are the smartest people in the world. You know, we are the one who made English. You know, Sheikh, Sheikh Isper is one of us. You know, the British people, they say his name Shakespeare, which is a lie. His name, his real name is Sheikh Isper. Yeah. Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call about the plastic surgery of his prophet and what was the purpose of it? Hmm? Don't you notice that this is the most stupid religion ever? A plastic surgery to make a prophet to make a prophet wiser. Look at this. Look. <clears throat> Jibreel so those angels did not talk to him to Muhammad till they carried him and they placed him beside the will of Zamzam I wish I am very good in making cartoon I will make a cartoon about this from among those angels Jibreel took charge of him here we go this is the head of the surgery this is the surgeon Jibreel cut open the heart the part of his body between his throne to the middle of the chest. By the way, in different hadith, it doesn't say that. In different hadith says, from his throat to his <coughs> to his balls. <coughs> With my respect to the 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 prophet balls, peace upon his balls. So they cut all of this, and then they took all the material out of his chest. Material, you know. I mean, you open the trunk, whatever you find inside, just take it off. Which makes sense. The engine. I mean the radiator the fan you take everything all the material is inside you take it off and by the way this has happened always to us in the Middle East we are Middle Eastern we have different material in our chest you know you go in the Middle East you open the chest of a guy you don't see normal stuff you see porn movies you see condoms all the kind of holy stuff you know Middle East is just a pure pure places so especially we as Arab we are very holy people so you know you open the chest you find the suicide belt c4 tnt i mean whatever you know whatever we can put inside our chest i mean whatever i can sometimes there's things we, we would like to put but we cannot as an example a nuclear a bomb but we cannot it's too big so they took all the material out of his chest and the abundant even the abundant if, 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 I mean, this is very serious, my friend. It's not only the chest, the trunk, they open even the abundant. And by the way, the abundant is very dangerous surgery. Only angels of God can touch that area, especially an Arabian abundant. Because, you know, we have a, we have a, we have a C4 trigger there. You touch it like boom, that's it, you're gone. So you have to be very skilled angel because we are different from other people. You know, we have to be honest about that. So they cut the abundant of the prophet and then they wash it with the water. It's called Zam Zam. I mean, it's not Zen Zen, it's not C C, it's not Fi Fi, it is Zam Zam. Don't ask me what does that mean? Allah knows best. Uh, from Zam Zam water, because there is no way they will wash his chest from different water. It would have to be Zam Zam. This is holy water. And then uh they they wash it with his hand and they clean inside his body and by the way this is a very 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 effective because if you want to try to install something what if there is some bacteria or something or maybe maybe a rat hiding there or something you have to be sure that it's empty and clean so they wash inside his body so his body now is totally empty he have no heart he have no abundant there's nothing it's just it's gone the liver is gone the 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 lung is gone i mean everything the whole trunk is empty true story uh, guys, uh, uh, don't forget to buy some popcorn if you are going to stay here for long. <laughs> I mean, isn't it obvious that this is a true story? Hmm. Then, and then, 
a gold tray contained a gold ball full of belief and wisdom was brought and then the comedy then there is I mean look at the then 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 because there's a stages they were trying to tell you that it not happened right away it took time a lot of time surgery very dangerous surgery you can imagine now like the heart of the prophet they put him in the side and his heart is like boom 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 but he's not dead imagine I mean you cut the heart out and put it out in the side of the road but still the heart is alive I mean it's a miracle uh, but you cannot understand this this is only angels like us Jibreel and my cousins we are cousins you know Arab so we understand those stuff for people like you I feel sorry for you so here then Jibreel stuffed his chest and the throat blood vessel with it you see they did not notice with me here how 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 much the details is very important do you notice that he did not say he put the wisdom inside he said he stuffed did you notice that and that to give us the uh, the meaning of that it's not only just wisdom it was a stuffed like it's very uh, like a dense wisdom it's like a pressured wisdom very thick wisdom it's not just he put the wisdom there you know what i mean yeah this is spiritual operation <laughs> well if it's spiritual since when since when a spiritual needs wisdom surgery and a dish of faith and dish of <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Do we have any Muslim? Hmm? Who's a Muslim would like to call? Is Russ in the chat? Is Mr. Russ who keep calling me liar in the chat? <coughs> Is he? No, I am. I am blocked him. I am blocked him. Actually, I blocked him because he keep calling me even when I say don't call now. Wait. Otherwise, I like this guy. He's smart. <laughs> Hey Russ, how are you? Do you hear me, Russ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think, Russ, about the plastic surgery down to the boobs of your prophet? Sir, what do you think about the plastic surgery the angels they did to the boobs of your prophet? I uh, don't think much of it. You do not know much about it. It's in the hadith. No, it's in I front of us. Look at the screen. Are you are you are you looking at the screen or no? Yes, but okay. I don't think I don't see what the big problem is. No, no, there's no problem. Actually, the problem is that Muhammad, uh, when you say that you made a surgery to install this of wisdom and this of faith, that means Muhammad was a foolish man. Otherwise, why need to make a dish of surgery, this uh, surgery, installing wisdom unless he needed that surgery? Don't okay, you think he needed this? Do you have full, full wisdom? Me? Yes. I don't have any wisdom, my friend. And um, I actually I, I register my name with Jibreel to to be next in the list, but he said all the Muslim they need that surgery. But this is another so question. What is wrong with the? This is another uh, question. Uh, why why you're a prophet? You needed that surgery. Are you saying to me that your prophet was so much fool to the point he is not qualified to be a prophet unless we make a surgery for him? Maybe God planned uh, to have more uh, wisdom for him. Mm -hmm. More wisdom. Okay, Muhammad. Now he became wise. You told me last time you spoke to me that in the heaven of Allah you are willing to have sex with your mother and your daughter and your sister. Is that wise? Is that from the wisdom of Muhammad? No, I said I'm not, I didn't say I was willing to. I said it's a, it's allowed. Oh, so it's allowed. It's allowed. So what the wisdom of is to say it's allowed for you to have sex with your mother in the heaven. Why it's allowed? What is the wise thing about that? 
No, it, everything in heaven is halal. I know, but what is the wise wisdom behind that? Why? Okay, we have a lot of you women cannot, here. Allah will give me. Apply, you cannot apply human wisdom, human moral in heaven. But you agreed that even you can, if, if somebody want to have sex with the goat, it's fine. If somebody want to have sex with Muhammad, it's fine. So what is the okay. wisdom of saying that anyone can have sex with Muhammad? Okay. Is that uh, wise? Uh, let me make a point. Look. Okay. Is it wrong to be uh, naked? It's random. It's wrong naked. to be naked? Yeah. Like okay. if I was naked outside, it would be wrong, right? Outside? Yeah, the, anyway. Depend where you live. <laughs> yeah, Listen. Depend where you live. If you, you live in Saudi Arabia, Adam, if, if, example, if you live in Sa Eve, if you live in Saudi Arabia, they will love the you. Garden of Eden. Listen, please. Mm -hmm. They were naked in the Garden of Eden. They did not feel shame until they ate, according to your Bible, until they ate the fruit, the fruit of knowledge, right? And you see what I mean? So it is wrong to be naked, of course, but in heaven it it, it wasn't it wasn't no. But my Until friend, my the friend but there's nobody except the wife and the husband. So if I live in an, in in the whole earth and there's only me and my wife, then who cares? Because we get naked in front of each other anyway, right? Uh, sorry, sorry, repeat it. If you if you and your wife live in the whole earth alone, don't you get naked when you sleep with her anyway? So you see each other naked. So nobody. So um, uh, Adam and Eve. There was nobody. There's no human except them. So having being naked would not make any difference for them because uh, first of all. Oh, so that's why it was okay. No, first of all, there's nobody. Yes, first of all, like you know, if if you are in your house now and your wife is naked, is that a big deal? And you are there no. alone? No. no. Okay. So now, now today, not in the time of Adam. Still, just because nobody can see your wife naked, you have no problem with it, and nobody can see you, you have no problem with it. In their time, there's nobody see them anyway. Now there's no, sin. Wasn't, they're, they're, it, wasn't they're, it okay to be naked because God allowed anything that allowed them to do anything okay. except? But you see, there's a the huge fruit. difference between being naked and being sinful to the point even you have sex with animals, having sex with the children, having sex with men. I mean, your God, He copied from the Old Testament saying that Sodom and Gomorrah, God, He destroyed nations because they have sex men with men. And then you are saying to me, in the heaven, you would have sex with men. So why God he punished them in earth for having sex with men, but he will have no problem with it to have sex because, in heaven. Because it is forbidden. And then until we go to heaven, we will get uh, anything is will become halal for us. So you will be in, in the heaven of Allah is going to be Sodom and Gomorrah. And this is halal. No, but let, if you look, it says in the Quran, the best thing in heaven will be seeing God's face. This is not a question. In the heaven of Allah, you are going to be Sodom and Gomorrah, men having sex with men, and this is not a problem in Islam. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it, but it's an option. Sodom and Gomorrah yes. is open. Okay, so you have Sodom and Gomorrah city if you like to be there. But you know, the, the problem is that uh, your Quran, your, your hadith, your prophet, he said that in the heaven, there's, there's a market where there's no buying or selling except uh, uh images of men and women yes, if you I like know. the image you go yeah. inside the image and you have sex with it so uh, uh what if allah you know let us say show you an image you like and an image of a man he is very handsome mm. don't you think allah here is tempting you to have sex with men what in in mm. heaven yeah the, what, what does it say you can have sex with men it says like I mean I mean you should you should it doesn't say you should no it doesn't say you know it says if you wish right because as we know okay look as we know some people are born um they are born as homosexual however in our in Islam you are not permitted to be homosexual you must resent those feelings those actions what homosexual mean being attracted to the same uh, gender uh, sex okay so you are not permitted to be homosexual in earth right yeah, yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so, so why yeah. in the Quran? Why in the Quran? There's no punishment for homosexual Look life is a test God is testing us. Hmm. Okay, and when uh, we go to heaven no all problem. our desires. So will be why hard. why Muhammad he was a homosexual? Muhammad was not a homosexual. Okay, you want me to prove it to you go on did your prophet he put eyeliner three times a day in his eyes and you said to me You are the one who said to me. He wanted to be more beautiful uh, I don't. I'm not. I don't think it was to be appear more beautiful. It was to do what then? Why but, he put? Why he put? Uh, why he put eyeliner three times a day in his eyes? 
I, I, I don't know. You know, some people in Egypt until today they still they put eyeliner on the eyes too. Yo, but this is about uh, the eyeliner for women. Uh, no, eyeliner is very well known. Yes. It's for women to be pretty. You know, well, well, well uh, he he didn't do it. Like, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't do it once, twice. He do it always. Uh, uh, what about if a man he wear women clothes? Woman clothes. Yeah, is he a gay? It it would be cross dressing, I, uh, okay. I guess. So is that will make him a gay? Depends on the context. Why he did it? What context? Uh, if somebody wear women clothes, is that a gay behavior or it's fine? If you just tell me like that without any context, yes. Okay. So what is the context of your prophet wearing his wife clothes? Uh, what where does it state that he was wearing a there's many clothes? places here we go but this is one of them it says that the prophet can and Murta Aisha he was wearing the dress of Aisha why he wear the dress of a woman and not only that he claimed that he never received Quran until he wear the dress of Aisha we, you must you must under you must you must you must read the text before the verse. Read it all, all read to, it all, go take your time. Yes. Okay. Because there has to be reason. Actually, the story here in front of us proving Muhammad to be a gay, because you will see that people they came to Muhammad showing his ass, showing his legs, and he don't care. And then when Uthman he came, suddenly he decided to dress up properly. And Muhammad wearing the wife his wife clothes, he don't care. But only when Uthman came, he dressed up properly and he changed his clothes. So, so he was naked. So he was naked. No, just he's, in front he's, of no his wife. he's wearing no. He's wearing his wife clothes, which make it very short on him because his wife is a short woman. You know, she's a woman, and mm -hmm. she is young. So he's wearing. They have a like a wide dress they wear, but it's very short, showing almost his ass, and he is laying down. And people they come to him. Abu Bakr he came. He did not change the way he is dressing. Uh, Omar he came he did not change the way he's dressing Uthman he came he changed the way he is dressing so I she, she said to him well uh, messenger of Allah why why did I see that you did not do that when Abu Bakr came or Omar came but you did this when Uthman came the messenger of Allah said may Allah bless him and grant him peace he said Uthman is a modest man so as you see Muhammad was a, not a modest man because Uthman was a modest man Muhammad he changed the way he dressed from women clothes to different clothes and he is not showing his ass no more so your prophet obviously he's a gay when Abu Bakr he come Abu Bakr is not a modest so they are homo when Omar he came Omar is not a modest he's a homo so so but when Uthman he came he's a modest man so Muhammad he changes the clothes Do, mm. you, do you know what modest mean? What modest mean? Modest, yeah, I know what it means. I okay, know. so th that's mean. Muhammad was not modest, and Omar was not modest, and Abu Bakr was mod mod modest. And what what make them not modest? Muhammad is sitting, showing his bum, showing his ass, wearing very short clothes of his wife Aisha, and he don't care. Mm, yeah, the. Yeah, it's very strange. I can't, I can't really defend it. I don't know. Mm, very strange. I agree with you. But you notice here that this has happened after Muhammad have a surgery of being wise. So if Muhammad mm -hmm. after the surgery doing this, Muhammad before the surgery he was showing what exactly? <laughs> good question. <laughs> That's a good question, Raz. That's a good question. Did you decide to leave Islam, Raz, or not yet? Uh, I feel like in these type of things I might. And you, one needs to like read the whole passage and then yeah. understand why the whole passage in front of you, my friend. I'm showing it to you on the screen. I'm not making things up. And this is, so you know, uh, uh, this is Sahih uh, Hadith. It's not, uh, uh, it's not like something I fabricate here. We go say Sahih. Do you see it? Say Sahih. Do you see it? Sahih. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. So it's Sahih. So what kind of a, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? No, it's very strange. Maybe he was trying to prove a point. I don't know. Ah, yeah. He proved the point for us, absolutely. I mean, obviously, he proved a lot of points for us. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 
But you know, for example, the the eyeliner thing that might be like a cultural custom. Yeah. Do Muhammad yeah. have a gay who stay in his house most of the day? Uh, one of his companions was thought to be gay. Oh, one of his companion was a gay, but there's a guy he always was in yeah. the house. Look at this. The prophet cursed the infeminate men. Why? Because people they start complaining about how many gays in the town, and they came to him. And actually, they asked. They said to him. Well, you know do something and like uh, kick out those gays from the houses so Muhammad he says okay kick them out and they said to him so what about the gay in your house <laughs> so, so what what the he said to them kick the gays they said they said to him what we should do there's many gays he said okay what do you want to do he said they said to him order him uh, order them like uh, to kick, kick them out so he said they said to him so what about the gay in your house you know and here is a yeah, it, says, it, doesn't, it doesn't say gay, it says and, feminine. And uh, no, that this is a gay in Arabic. In Arabic, this is a, the translation in Arabic. It says Muhannath. Muhannath is a gay. Here you will see that a gay Imam he was seducing the Muslim by showing his ass during the prayer. He wore a short dress, so when he bent over, he showed his anus. And you will notice here the Muslims they came to complain to the Caliphate Uthman. And they said to him that this is a leader of temptation. He is tempting us. I want to ask you, my friend, this, Aras. If a man, he is wearing no underwear and he bends in the front of you, do you get tempted? No. So why no. the Muslims are getting tempted unless they are gay themselves? I think they were tempted to put clothes on him. No, cover him. they are tempted because this... <laughs> what tempted they were clothes? What are you talking about? They are oh. tempted, they say, they, they are tempted, they're written in front of us. So, uh, unless this is a gay society, it looks like everybody is a gay, the Imam is a gay, the Caliphate is a gay, uh, the Prophet is a gay, and, uh, and 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 the men are tempted because a gay in a play, a bending over in front of them. So, supposedly here they are playing that they are the decent men and they don't want to be tempted, but obviously they are gays too, because if a gay and he bend over in front of you and you are not a gay, why and how you will get tempted unless you are a gay? Mm. Right? Yeah. Uh, well, I need to wait. Is this the passage right there in front of me? Yeah, it's in the front of you. You can put it in the back of you and watch, but they be careful. You know, there's many Muslims they are watching <laughs> your back. If you go in the Middle East, by the way, Ras, I will advise you something. If you go in the Middle East, and you drop like one pound or one dollar in the in floor, don't ever pick it up. That's very dangerous there. Why? Because Why? You, will, you will tempt the whole Muslim nation. They might jump on you. You never know what will happen. Oh my. <laughs> so just leave it in the floor. Or you can buy like a stick, the one you can pick up the dollar without going down. Because if you bend over, you are history. Say hello to your garage. No, it doesn't say he's naked. No, he's tempting them. He is a gay. He is a he is a gay. He's tempting them, obviously, with his anus. What he's tempting them with? Why they are tempted? Okay, but wow. Okay, can I, I will go. I will. He's... I will go with you. If he is not naked, how he tempt them by praying in front of them? You tell me. What the guy is doing? He pray in front of them. He's the imam. How mm. they get tempted? Let us say he is wearing burqa. Showing it nothing. Says, we are afraid of being sinful in following him. Uh huh. Sinful in following him. Why? What is what is wrong with him? Do you see at the end it says what he is? Maybe maybe they were immature in the position. Was, no, he know. is a gay. And then he said, he said to them, it doesn't matter. Pray behind him. So what? Then they said, okay, look like in our opinion, we should not offer salat behind the finite man. But look like we have no other uh, alternative. That's mean we have no other choice because the caliphate, he said, you do it. Now here, did you ask yourself why Uthman allowing a man to be a gay and he is leading the prayer of the Muslim Abdul? So that's, uh, so you answered your own question. Hmm. It says, in our opinion, one should not offer Salat behind a, a, a feminine person unless hmm. there is no alternative. Hmm. So why the, why, why the, why so the actually, why the caliph, why the caliph no it's not for it because the caliphate no, saying, no don't do it no. unless you have to no the caliphate he said you do it same time if, if if they are just to show you how hypocrite those people are is this guy is the only one who can be an imam to pray behind him 
I mean, the, there's tons of people. Go, don't pray behind the gate. Do you need to pray behind this? This is the only gain. This is the only Imam in the Islamic city. I mean, here we go. The caliphate is there. Go pray behind the caliphate. Mm, Why yeah, are you gonna pray yeah, behind the gate? Point, huh? Yeah, but obviously they like it. They are making themselves look decent people. Same time, how they are tempted by how they will be sinful by praying behind the gate unless they are tempted from you know seeing something. Look what it says here. He is a leader of fitna, trials and afflictions. <laughs> what a trial. They are going through a trial. Do you see it? Yeah. So they are being tempted by his ass. Look like this guy. He have a very nice ass. May Allah bless his ass. Yeah, you have a point. But uh, if someone is gay, what, what can you do about it? No, it's not about what we can do about it. But I'm, I'm saying here that your religion is, 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 a, is very homo. And this is why in the heaven of Allah, you don't have a problem to be a homo there too. Okay, if uh, so, you believe that people who are homosexual they they can change. No, I believe that you Muslims, all of you are homo at the end of the day because <laughs> it's an option for you. It's not rejected because as long as you consider it in the heaven, it's mean it's not bad and it's good for you. So and this is how it is. Same time no. as we see. Okay, have you ever kissed a man down his belly? <sighs> Um, you're gonna bring that? No, of course not. Okay, why? Why you said of course not? Is that disgusting? Yeah, pretty much. Why? Yeah. Why is disgusting? Why? I would never do that to a grown man. That's just wrong. Okay, so why your prophet he was kissing the man down his belly? No, maybe it was a sign of affection. I don't know. Ah, affection. Ah. You know what? I want to give you one week to practice that so you can follow the Sunnah of the Prophet because this is Sunnah. Are you a Sunni? Mm, yeah. A Sunni mean what? You Sunni, you do what Muhammad did. Let us see. We have a Muslim is calling. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Are you there, Abdul? Are you there? Why you call me if you don't want to talk? Are you there? Okay, forget it. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? This is Muhammad after the surgery. After the surgery, he became wise and decent. He put a dish of faith and dish of wisdom in his... Uh... Hello? This guy, he have a very bad connection. My friend, before you call me, as long as you are a Muslim, you have to say something. Let me teach you a secret. You have to say, inshallah, otherwise your call will not be successful. If you don't say, inshallah, before you call me, you will not win the debate, and your internet will be horrible, and you might go to the heaven wrong section of the of the gaze. So say, inshallah, please, before you call me. Let me do it. I will say, inshallah, and call you. Hold on. Inshallah. See, it's working. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Okay, sorry, my friend. You are just wasting my time. Do we have any Muslim here would like to call us? <clears throat> this guy is an ex Muslim. You got my bad connection, my friend. What I can do? Uh, uh, Ras, you want to still? You want to talk to me, Ras? Ras, are you sure you still you want to talk? Yes, Ras. Yes, I think you put me on hold. Uh, because uh, simply, uh, I thought the Muslim is trying to call me, and uh, I was afraid. You see, because I have. Uh, a dish, f you know, uh, uh, Ras. 
you are a wise man did you do any surgery before <laughs> no 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 so what do you think how 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 this has happened I mean why Allah he needed to do surgery to Muhammad to increase his faith and his wisdom what do you think what was behind the surgery what was the problem Allah he noticed that Muhammad is so stupid so he wanted to increase his wisdom or something is that normal to do surgery no. for a prophet of God to increase his wisdom and not only that it says Jibreel he stuffed his chest and throat I wonder how even your prophet can even breathe how he even can no, talk I, I mean because if your prophet throat is stuffed with wisdom he can't even talk like no, 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 by the no, way no, by the way like if you if you call me like just 15 minutes ago I wasn't able to talk because I was stuffed with wisdom but now I have less I, I consumed some what kind of oh, religion no. do you really believe in this uh, rice that your prophet was stuffed with wisdom and faith yeah I agree some things are definitely weird but I'd, definitely yeah. weird come on my friend show respect yeah. to the show respect to the throat of your prophet your prophet now is not normal he is stuffed with wisdom so if your prophet now he decide to vomit he will not vomit food he will vomit wisdom you know I mean look at this he well, they stuffed mm -hmm. his throat and even the blood vessels with wisdom so the prophet uh, 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 he, uh, no food will come out wisdom and faith look faith in the ground faith in the ground wisdom in the ground all of this is vomit of the prophet what do you think mm. yeah uh, I, I don't, I, see some things I don't know what to say I don't know so why you don't give this time my friend because uh maybe the things lead up to an answer i don't know okay let us hear what the, this gentleman he want to call me and i will i will let you talk again okay he's trying to call us okay <laughs> lord have mercy my skype is stuffed with wisdom Hello? Hello? Are you there? Mm, look like your connection is still bad, my friend. All right, sorry, I have to drop you. Maybe some other day you can call me. It's all right. As you see, guys, Islam is a very stupid religion. I mean, what kind of a story is a story? Well, I mean, this is really garbage. And not only that, Muhammad, he went to the seven heavens. And uh, maybe uh, maybe Ras is good in geography. Let us see what Ras want to say. <coughs> Ras, are you there? Yes. My friend Ras, are you good in geography? Do you watch Discovery Channel from time to time? Yeah, I'm all right with the you. Do? Okay. You know, is it true that your prophet he found in the heaven of Allah the river of Euphrates and the Nile River? Mm, the heaven is described to have four rivers. Right, but two of them is the Nile of Euphrates and uh, the, the Nile and Euphrates. How he found them there? I thought the Nile is in Africa and Euphrates in, is in Asia, in Turkey now. How this happen? I mean, how... no, the, no, there was look like the heaven of your God, Allah is messed up. No, I think because the the first there was a river between that go that got that went through the first two the first the civilization on earth that was called the Euph Euphrates River, right? I don't know. No, you see, here your prophet in his time he went up in the top of the flying mule, flying donkey, sexy donkey. He went all the way to the seven heaven, correct? Mm. And there, there's a tree, it's called Luta tree. Okay, so the stream next to it or underneath of the roots of it, there's four rivers, two underground and two above the ground. The two above the ground is the Nile River and Euphrates. How the Nile River and Euphrates to be found in the heaven of your God. And remember, this is after Muhammad, he had the surgery. Do you think he saw that because of the influence of the drugs, because of the surgery? 
Maybe. <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you are a funny ras. You are very funny. You know why you don't leave Islam, my friend? Don't you see that this is your prophet is making fun of you and he's being silly and this is stupid? You are smarter than this. Obviously, your prophet is taking too much hashish. Mm. Do you agree that your prophet is taking hashish? No, you know some 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 things. For, for example, it could be a different river or mean something. What else. different river? Yeah. It says the Nile River. It doesn't say different one. It says the Nile River and Euphrates River. Come on. You, it's obviously not the same Nile River. No, right? obviously it is the same because there is no two Nile rivers. Does it say there this is different river? It says no. He found there. These are the source of the Nile River. And by the way, here. It says between two bracket, right? Two bracket. Mm. But if you go in Arabic, uh, it says, "فَقَالَ مَا هَذَا نَهْرَانِ يَجْبْرِيلَ قَالَ هَذَا هَذَا النِّيلُ وَالْفُرَاتُ أَنْصَرُهُمَا." So those are running from the Nile. The Nile River is coming from here, and the uh, and the and the and the Nile River is coming. Uh, Refer to is coming from here. But as we know that this is going to be true because if Allah is out of the earth, so what Nile River is connected to this guy, to this one? How they are connected? What is the connection between them? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. We can find the same story in many other you know places. See, here we go, like as example. <clears throat> Your prophet he found in the river and the those rivers in the heaven. He said, The Messenger of Allah said, Shihan and Jihan and Al Furad and the Nile are from the rivers of heaven. This is not the branches, or those are from the rivers of heaven. You see it? Mm, yeah. Uh, this is stupid. This is too much hashish. Yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know. Mm. So what we will do now, me and you, Aras? Why you don't leave Islam? Be honest with me. After no, all of this, don't you not? Think, don't you? Don't you no, notice that this is, is stupid? There is a uh, embryotic uh, evidence in the in the Quran. What does that mean? Embryotic, like the how babies are formed. The in the embryo. How the baby is formed in the Quran is very stupid, my friend. What are you talking about? In the in the embryo. Yeah. Do you want do you want me to show you? It's just stupid. What are you talking about? It's the most stupid teaching ever. Your prophet, and when he said that, he was taking not only hashish, he was taking something higher than hashish. Okay. What do you mean? Mm, let us see what it says, and then you will see that your prophet was not under the influence of hashish. It was maybe cocaine. Overdose to the Quran, mm. and this is your Islamic translation. Read with me. Let's see. Then we created the drop of a clot. A clot here is a congealed dead blood, by the way. Then we created the clot, a tissue. Then it doesn't say a tissue, but it says a lump. It says, like, uh, you know, when you if you if you are eating, like, uh, let's say, chicken. And then the joint of the chicken, there is an area here where it's not bones, but it's not meat. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, yeah. Yeah, this is what it says. So he make it into that. And then he make the lump into a bones. And then we garment the bones with the flesh. So according to your God, you are, when he created you, you went through stages. And one of the stages that you, as a sperm, you became a congealed blood, dead blood. And then after that, Allah, he make you so handsome, uh, made only from uh, bones. And after that, he covered the bones with meat. Do you agree with that? I, I guess now you look like this now. You are looking, you are thinking about this hadith, this verse. Do you look like this? Be honest with me. No, 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 but I'm talking about other I know, verses. but look at this. Your God saying that he made you bones and <laughs> you are now just bones. Like now you are thinking, you are reading what I'm saying to you. And now you are just bones. 
and then after that Allah he start clothing you with the clothes with, with the clothes with its meat and flesh and blood do you agree with that is that the, the amazing embryo for you no but you're using this is not the verses I was talking about it doesn't matter this is a verse we can go to any verse you want no problem all of them they are saying the same garbage they, they don't they don't okay give me another verse uh, it, um... It says in the Quran, it says he makes you he makes you in the wombs of your mothers in stages, one after another, in free veil. This is a, this is the stages in front of you. Same time, your prophet he think that we stay inside our mother belly for fifty days as a sperm. How long do you think you stay as a sperm inside your mother? With my respect to her, give me give me a give me how many days? What do you think? Do you remember anything when you were a sperm? No, but uh... no, you don't remember anything. You did not take any selfie Always or anything. I don't. Oh, okay. Well, you're a prophet. He said that uh, uh, when you wear uh, a sperm, uh, you stayed inside your mother, Billy, for fifty days. I mean, your God, <laughs> your prophet here after the surgery, he became so smart. He became Doctor Muhammad. Mm. Don't you notice here that Muhammad became beyond? Like this is not about a person who have a PhD. This guy he became a professor of the professor of the professor of the embryo. So you are inside your mother as a sperm now for fifty days. But as science says, that maximum sperm can live for five days. See, Muhammad is very close, by the way. It, the, the the only mistake is just a zero, you know. Mm. So sperm can live inside the mother inside the womb. The sperm will be in the womb. In the womb, the sperm goes to the womb. And in the womb, the sperm is taking vacation for 50 days playing volleyball. Mm. So how you explain to me, Dr. Muhammad here? I believe Muhammad, by the way, he was he was going to be a very successful uh, doctor in Zakir Naik school. No, no, you know, Doctor Doctor Muhammad, uh, Doctor Muhammad, he teach and Zakir Naik explain. He will say to them, "Brother Tata, the Prophet said that if a sperm go inside the womb of the woman, it go to stay in the, the, the womb of fifty days." And this is absolutely true. As an example, me myself, I stayed inside my mother as a sperm for fifty days, and I have a selfie of me. Let me open the phone for you. <laughs> what do you say? No, but uh, look, I'm referring to the this to these uh, this verse which explains it. Uh, my friend, which makes one more sense. my friend, one verse explain all the other verses. What are you talking says, about? Says, if one verse is wrong, did you agree that the verse I showed you is wrong? That's it. It's this is God talking. If he's wrong in this verse, mm -hmm. he will be wrong in the rest. Don't waste my time. But don't be foolish, as you are smarter than this. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> But I think all the verses are clear. Can I can I can I read you? My friend, surah? go ahead, go ahead. Which what what chapter? What chapter you want? Surah twenty three fourteen. We are in twenty three fourteen. We are reading twenty three fourteen. That's what I'm saying. It says, uh, "We made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump, lump of mm. flesh, and we made it from the lump to into bones, mm. and we covered the bones with flesh." Mm. And that is, it resembles kind of the development of a baby. My friend, this is very stupid development because the sperm will not turn into a congealed dead blood. Then it says clinging clot. No, there's no way it says a clinging clot. Secondly, the sperm will not be a clinging clot because the sperm does not stay alive, my friend. The sperm go inside the egg, activate the egg, and then the sperm will be destroyed. There's nothing it's called will be sperm will transform into a clot. It yes, is the egg. Clot, it is no. It is the is. egg. No. It is the egg who will grow, not the sperm will grow. The egg. Ask anyone. The egg will start multiplying the cells. It's not the sperm multiplying itself. It doesn't say multiple. It says we made the clot into a. It lump says no. Them. It says the sperm will became a clot. The sperm. The nutfa. We made the drop of a sperm into a clot, and that is a dead blood. And then the blood became a lump, and then the lump became a bones, and then the bones was closed with the, with, with the flesh. This is very stupid, my friend. Mm. Mm. 
What do you what do you eat every every day, Ras? Tell me, do you take hashish yourself? No, but because I don't know, there is no way you stay as a Muslim after all what I say to you, unless you are taking hashish too. Do you see sometimes? Do you, is the, there is no the, reason for me do, to. Do you hear uh, sometimes? Okay. Do you hear sometimes voices? Be honest with me. <laughs> no. When you go to the bathroom, do you hear angels saying to you, "Oh, Ras"? Some sometimes I do. Really? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Mm. Yeah, because it happened to your prophet, by the way. Your prophet, he go to the bathroom, and then yeah, the angel he spoke to him and he said to him, Oh Muhammad. Obviously, your prophet is uh, he have a you have a mental issue. I mean the, the angel cannot wait until the poor guy finishes his poo poo. This is not even fair. Yeah, but I didn't don't have any other reason to uh convert to anything or any other religion to be No, honest. my friend, I can convert you to different religion, you know, I can go convert you to hippie religion. I mean, Muhammad is happy. Here we go. Already you are happy. You believe that in the heaven you will screw everybody. So what is the what is left? You are happy already. Islam is happy. Your wife, she can give her boobs to anyone to suck at. You are happy. No, but to be honest, I don't see what what you have so much against the heaven. The description. I don't have anything against the heaven. I have something against the stupidity. No, because okay, you see, okay, you keep saying oh, oh because it's wrong because my friend, my friend, my friend. What kind of God he say to you that this is a big sin in earth and then he says to you it's okay to do it in heaven that's mean he is stupid because either it is bad or it is good because it's in, in bad and good does not exist in heaven no it is exist because in heaven too people they can they can they can do bad stuff people they can do crimes too human being is still a human but all what you did now you just told them go and do whatever you want just do it Go and have sex with anything you want. Just do uh, get whatever you wish. So we can say that right now on yeah. earth. We, we do not need to go to heaven. You can say to me, go and do whatever you want, and people will start doing whatever they want, and that's it. And then I said to you, isn't nudity is wrong, isn't it? Depend. I, I said, I said to you, I, no, I said to you, depend. As an example, if you live in the jungle of Brazil, and uh, you know, if it is a, a normal clothing, the way to close this way, it's not going to be sin. Very, very simple reason. Because nakedness is not to be seen. It's not to be seen. If everybody no, dressed the I'm same, no, no, hold on, I'm hold on. If you go, if you go morality. in a, if you go in a beach, even morality, if you go in a beach, it's not what you see, it's not how you think about what you see. So you are going to heaven of Allah. Let us say everybody is naked. But if your God He made you to think about it in a holy way, then still you will not see people naked, you will see them as people. It doesn't matter if they are naked or not. But if you think about them naked in a sexual way, then this will be sin. So if I see, as an example, if you open the door of your uh, in your house, you have a daughter with my respect to your daughter. Hold on, hold on. When we get Russ, when, Russ, yeah. Russ, Russ, wait, wait. In your house, let us say you have a daughter. I don't know if you have or not. I'm not trying to insult you. Don't take me wrong. You open the door yeah. of the bedroom of your daughter, and your daughter, she is naked. She just take her from the shower. Do you desire your daughter? No. No. Why? She's naked. She's, of, she's my biological. Ah, daughter. but she is your daughter. Uh, so because she is your daughter, your brain right away block that idea. But she is a beautiful woman. She is a female. She is a woman. She is young. She is beautiful. But just because she is your daughter, you will never even think about it. Correct? Mm, okay. Yeah. So the idea is, is not the nakedness will make you commit sin. It's what you think about the nakedness. So here we go. A female, beautiful female. She is young, and she is in the front of you. And you can rape her if you want. She is there in your house. You know who, who can stop you? But you will never do that because this is your daughter, and you block yourself from thinking about that immediately. But if you see different female who is not your daughter, she have the same beauty, the same height, the same age, and she is naked in your bedroom. You will think about her in a different way. So what is the different? The different is how we think. It is it's not what we. It is because because. We are naturally made to procreate. At some point in your life, whether it doesn't matter how pure you think, at some point you will have hormones. Those hormones will no cause problem. You no, to, this, will, this, this is the point. But you have a hormone, cause... my friend. You have a hormone when you see your daughter too. Your hormone is not gone. Your hormone is there. You're still a man. You still can have sex. You still have a desire. Just because <laughs> you block it, then it's a block. That's it. So you are in control. You decide what you want to decide. You want to do whatever you want to do. This is why you don't do it with your daughter, but you don't mind to do it with someone else. So the hormone is not the problem. 
the problem is what you think and what you what you notice is that your God he make you think only about sex see, you don't in heaven you're free from that no yeah. you see here we go because Islam is a satanic religion because now you don't have morality heaven should be the land of morality not the opposite in Islam there's no morality when you go to heaven so you now you became more sinner from when you were in yeah, earth because we're already moral and real my friend there's no moral thank you very much that is that's the somebody trying to call let us try to take you are wasting my time what moral you, you told me you are the one who told me in, in heaven there's no morality you forgot go on and watch your video you said to me in heaven there's no morality zero morality in the heaven of Allah what kind of religion, religion this religion is having sex with your mother and you have no more more moral what kind of God he will say that to you and you know even the heaven God he created Adam and Eve so what about if God wanna reward us with sex let us go back to Adam and Eve one man one woman God did not create Adam and 1000 Eve or 72 This is obviously satanic a man he should be in love with the woman and a woman should be in love with a man not in love with every woman around this is lost this is a pure sex your god will create for you women who you never met and they are made specifically for sex and each time you sleep with them actually he will make them virgin again so the point here is not love the point here is having sex and this is the the nature of your god he is evil, he is disgusting, he is satanic. If a man he think about women as sexual object, then it doesn't matter who is the woman, he can change women every day. Because who is she who care? Just a woman, just a vagina. And if the woman she think about the man as just for sex, same. Who care who is he? Who care what his name? Today, today his name is Ras. Don't don't call me. Don't call me. That's it. I'm done with you, Ras. Don't call me today. Don't call me. Don't force me to block you. I dare you to debate me. Hmm. <clears throat> answer, Abdul. Answer. I dare you to debate, to debate me, answer. So you say to me, I dare you to debate me, but you don't want to you don't want to answer. I mean, obviously, you are very brave. Yeah, Russ is a, it's funny somehow, I don't know. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? The strongest sperm goes inside the egg is not dead. No, it's not dead. It goes and then it dis it doesn't stay as a sperm. There's no sperm no more. The sperm go inside the egg and then deliver the DNA, and there's no more sperm. That's it. Are you saying the sperm will stay with the baby until the baby became a baby? No, there's no sperm. The sperm go inside the inside the egg and then he will be demolished into DNA. So he activate the egg and then his DNA will stay. Correct. What he will deliver is the DNA. The DNA will st will stay, but not the sperm. The sperm, the animal, is not going to stay living. It is the DNA will continue to multiply. Unbelievable. 
Many Abdul. And by the way, like we are learning from Muhammad a lot of things. Like when Muhammad he said, if a man have orgasm first, the baby will look like the man or will be a boy. Now I know how to avoid the uh, one of the reasons I did not get married because I don't want my son to look like me. I was afraid. I mean, he might shoot me when he grow up. You see what I did to you. You know. But now, by the help of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, this problem is solved. Or what we need to do? I do not need to have orgasm first. I will let my wife have orgasm first, and that will guarantee that we will have a beautiful baby. Okay. So now I am safe and secure. But before I was worried. What if I have orgasm first, and then he will go? I have a son look like me. Alhamdulillah. He grow up. He shoot me. He says, I am your fault. What you did to me, look, there's no girl want to marry me. This is not fair. I mean, your prophet is very wise, man. I'm very thankful. I learned from him. That will help me for my future life. What if my wife is FGM? What FGM mean? What does that mean? I never heard of this. Is, is that like FM station or something? Any Abdul? Yeah, actually, you see Muhammad wife, do you remember the, the story where Muhammad wife, she said to him, do women have orgasm? Here we go, the story in front of you. And this is me and Muhammad wife, she never have orgasm. But I don't think here, because Muhammad wife, she have a, a circumcision, because they did not practice that yet. Uh, I believe here, Muhammad do not know how to do it. Muhammad is like a rabbit. Maybe he have orgasm after one, one second. Before even she take her clothes off, he's like, he's gone. He starts snoring. <laughs> Hey, husband, I just take off my panty. And then it's too, too late. As you see, the wife here, she is wondering when the woman, she said to Muhammad, look, this woman, she don't have a husband. She is seen with a dream, yet yet she have orgasm. Um, Salim. She saw a with a dream and she have orgasm. The wife of Muhammad who have a husband, his name is Muhammad. She never have orgasm. To the point she said, oh, Allah, does, the, does that happen really? You know you cannot you cannot stop you cannot stop Ras from calling the second you hear the word orgasm you have to call Ras I told you not to call me today come on oh we have a Muslim he is saying to me Shahada is that will help your wife your prophet wife with the orgasm Shahada <laughs> what a fool be a, be a man and give me a call instead of saying to me shahada stupid let the shahada help your wife orgasm here we go the wife of the prophet says she has shahada every day and she is the wife of the prophet she say there's no god but muhammad and there's no prophet but my husband but his, no, his penis is not working so what we will do now hmm huh? And you know, to prove that Muhammad he never have sex with his wives, obviously, you know the hadith where it says that the prophet he used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact he never did. Read it. The prophet continued for such and such a period of time imagining that he had sexual relationship with his wife but the fact he did not so what happened in here the wives was doing what during that time go into the vegetable store 13 wives waiting for muhammad to do bang bang and muhammad is imagining they are in the bed they are naked waiting for the husband and the husband is imagining himself having sex.
What do you say, Muslims? This guy is qualified to be. A, this is after the surgery. After the surgery, he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he did not. So, what happened to him before the surgery? Hmm? All right, guys, you sound like you are tired because we did three videos today, four videos. I feel sorry for you because I'm young and you are old and you are tired and I am not. I feel sorry for you. But I will tell you a very uh, a secret. Don't share it with anyone. Why? I don't get tired easy. Uh, before I start my video, I say, inshallah. Brother. And by the way, Prophet Solomon he wanted to have sex with his 99 wives and he forgot to say inshallah do you know what happened to you, uh, prophet salamon because he forgot to say inshallah allah gave him half child here we go again same garbage there's a muslim guy he bought a car he have a small budget and the car is made in Japan made only for Muslims they told him this car is unique made only for Muslims so when you say Bismillah the car will stop when you say Alhamdulillah the car will go you do not need a key it's automatic so the Abdul he was very happy and he started driving his car he took the whole family, all his four wives and all his 70 kids in the back seat and the trunk. They are driving and they are happy and they are singing Tala al -baldru alayna, which means we saw the crescent moon. This is the song of Muhammad. And when he was driving, he arrived for a very dangerous curve. So when he arrived at the curve, he lost control of the car and almost his car went out and by like by natural you know this is what the muslims they do before they die they say bismillah and the car stop Oof. man at the edge of the valley almost he's dead he said bismillah and the car stop because he forgot if he say bismillah the car will stop but then he forgot that he should not say something. He said, Alhamdulillah, we did not fail down and the car go down in the valley. Abdul, don't say Alhamdulillah ever again. Hmm? Anyone understand the joke or nobody? Nobody? Hmm. Any Abdul? My friend, you have all my videos. It's okay. It's okay if you don't have my books. It's fine. I have thousands of videos. What do you want to learn? Go ahead. Here we go. It's for free. You are in India, but you might even not receive in them. Because post office there is not really good. Maybe you can order the Kindle version of them. All right, guys. I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? Did we learn something new? And this is how we are up. We got our wisdom. And this is why all the Middle East, is, all the president of Middle East, they are very wise. Because we have a connection with Allah. He sent us a dish of wisdom and dish of faith. And uh, this is why nobody nobody can match with us. I mean, we win all everything. We have the wisdom in dishes. We have the faith in dishes. The only thing is missing we don't have in dishes is a brain. But we have the dish of wisdom and the dish of faith. But the brain is... Uh, uh, we made an order. We hope it's going to come soon, you know. But you never know. We might have it one day.
you know what we can say it's going to come i mean it's just a delay in the pizza delivery of jibreel otherwise we will have it it's a matter of time alhamdulillah so thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you islam is nothing but a false stupid cult and you have to be really taking too much hashish to believe in such a cult as you see wherever i go this is stupid everything there is stupid there's nothing real there you have to be mentally ill a person who live in fictions and madness and stupidity and you have to drop your ethic so this religion is anti-ethic anti-legitimacy anti anti-reality anti uh, 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 anti-humanity uh, uh, anti, uh, anti i mean everything there anti-love anti anti-happiness anti I never saw a Muslim, he is a real Muslim, who is a real believer, is not stressed. For they cannot spend their day without hating and praying for death of somebody. We as a Christians, we are blessed, my friend, with the love of the Messiah. Love your enemy, bless your enemy. So he hate me, he die with his hate. I live with my love. Hate is like poison killing him. Love is like uh, a new spirit lifting me up. Keeping me happy, protecting me from being stressed. Who cares if the whole world hate me if I am happy inside myself? This is why Jesus said, you know, what what the benefit of the man if he won the whole world but he lost himself? The Muslim he wanna win the whole world, and the price is to lose himself. This is why Allah, he promised him the world, but he don't promise him himself. He promised him sex, and that is the world. He promised him money. Even Muhammad, he said in the heaven, he will be 10 times more rich than any king. I mean, how stupid, how silly that is. If everything in the heaven is for free, so what are you talking about being rich like 10 kings? Who did, who care for the money? Imagine I give you a credit card and I say, go and buy, but nobody, for nothing for sale. So this is a very stupid religion and you know for me i believe islam is dying very fast whatever they say islam is dead you know no actually islam is dead even in the middle east there's no muslims if you go and see really in reality who are they the muslims you will find nobody how many muslims they want sharia law in the middle east nobody how many muslims in turkey uh, Erdogan is the president go and go Anyone, any one of you been in Turkey? Go in Turkey, you will see the skirt in Turkey is like one inch. This is if it is a long skirt. Where is the Muslim in Turkey? Where is the hijab? Where is the Islamic? You will see a Muslim woman wearing the hijab, but her jeans is going inside her. I don't want to give details. Nobody wants Islam. They are hypocrite. Go to Morocco, go to Algeria, go. Prostitution is, is, is a big business there. So they count themselves as number, but if you calculate the number, you will find that there's no Muslims between the numbers they are calculating. How many Muslims there is in Egypt? How many Muslims even between Taliban? Taliban, number one entertainment for them is having sex with boys, Baza Bachi. They bring a boy, they dress him as a girl, he dance between them, and then after that, the leader of the group, he take him to have sex with him. Go and search it in YouTube. This is Taliban who practice Islam supposedly 100%. So they are proud about numbers, but the numbers are empty. Islam is like the Soviet Union. It looks huge, but from inside is empty. Overnight is gone. When somebody decide to do Sharia law, look what happened. All the Muslim they fought him. Who is the one who fought ISIS? The second they kick ISIS from a city, the Muslim themselves they will be the first one to dance in the street and shave their beard. I can show you tons of videos. Why the Muslims are happy that ISIS is gone? ISIS are practicing real Islam. So I want to say thank you guys for being here and I hope next time we will have more Muslims 
maybe tomorrow I should give you a break, man. You know, I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm being so tough on you. How you can watch all those videos today? I made how many? Ten hours. So maybe I should give you a break to relax a little bit from the cult of Islam. And we hope that we will have more Muslims to come to debate us. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you soon again, Christ, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And this is a Christian prince. Wish you the best Sunday to come with your family and to be blessed. Thank you.